Hey guys, if you are new to the channel, my name is Mahesh Mankapuram. Here I discuss all the basics of quantitative aptitude, logical reasoning, shortcuts, tricks, and how to manage your time in any competitive exam and many more. In this video, I am going to explain you the divisibility rules of numbers from 2 to 12. These are going to be tested in any competitive exam most frequently. So, these all are going to be covered in this video. If that sounds interesting to you, let's get into this video. This one is the first divisibility rule. So this is applicable for any number which can be written in the form of 2 power of n. Whether it is 2 or 4, 8, 16 or 32, 64, 128, anything that can be written in the form of 2 power of n, this rule is applicable. If the last n digits are divisible by 2 power of n, then the entire number is divisible by 2 power of n. Let's have a look at these examples. 2 can be written as 2 power of 1. So n value is 1. If last digit is divisible by 2, hence the entire number is divisible by 2. For example, if you look at this yi 20 yi, the last digit is yi, yi is divisible by 2, hence the entire number is divisible by 2. There is no importance for the remaining numbers other than the unit digit, other than the only last one digit. You can write any number that you want. 7, 9, 10, like this, you can write any number. If the last digit is divisible by 2, hence entire number is divisible by 2. Uh, look at this another example 726 or 720. Here the last digits are divisible by 2 respectively. So hence the entire number is divisible by 2. If you look at this example 721, here the last digit is 1, 1 is not divisible by 2, hence this number is not divisible by 2. In the similar way, 4 can be written as 2 square, here the n value is 2, last 2 digits need to be divisible by 4, hence the entire number is divisible by 4, uh, like 148, here the last 2 digits are 48, so this 48 is divisible by 4, yes it is divisible by 4, hence the entire number is divisible by 4, you can write any numbers that you want on the left side of this number like this. Yeah, 8, 9, 7. This number is also entirely divisible by 4 because of this last two digits. Uh, let's have a, another example 126. Here the last two digits are 26. Is 26 divisible by 4? No. This 26 is not divisible by 4 and this entire number is not divisible by 4. In the similar way it also works for 8 and 16 as well. For example if you look at 1720 the n value is 3 here, last 3 digits are 720. Is 720 divisible by 8? Yes, the entire number is also divisible by 8. If you consider 2725, last 3 digits are 725. But here, last 3 digits are not divisible by 8, hence this number is not divisible by 8. This rule can also be applicable for 16, this rule can also be applicable for 2 power of 5 and 2 power of 6, 2 power of 7 and for any single number. Okay, here is the second one, the divisibility rule of 5 power of n that is also similar to the a previous one, whatever we have discussed. If last n digits are divisible by 5 power of n, then the entire number is also divisible by 5 power of n. We are already done with 2, we are done with 4 and we are done with y. Here, 5 can be written as 5 power of n, 25 can be written as 5 square, 5 cube is nothing but 125 and 5 power of 4 is 625. So you can also apply, this rule is also applicable for 5 power of 4, 5 power of 5, 5 power of 6 and so on. Let's have a look at this example first. So if, if you consider 775 here, n value is 1, so consider only last digit, last digit is 5. 5 is divisible by 5, so entire number is divisible by 5. You can write whatever the number that you want on the left side. It doesn't matter, the number is going to be divisible by 5 for sure. And if I write like this, y8, y9, y8, 0, if the last digit is 0, is this 0 divisible by 5? Yes, it leaves a remainder of 0, hence it is divisible by 5. Hence, this entire number is also divisible by 5. If you take one more example like this, yi973, 
Here the last digit is 3, but is 3 divisible by 5? No, it is not divisible by 5, hence this number is not divisible by 5. This rule can also be applicable for 25 and 125 as well. Here, uh, let's take one more example. Let's consider the same example, 775. Here, n value is 2, last two digits is equal to 75. If 75 is divisible by 25, then the entire number is divisible by 75, uh, 7, uh, 25. Okay, here this 75 is divisible by uh, 25, hence this entire number is divisible by 775. If you take the second number, that is y8, y8, 9, y8, 0, and here last two digits are y8, but y8 is not divisible by 25, hence this number is not divisible by 25. You can applicable this rule for the 125 as well and 625 as well since 6, 625 can be written as 5 power of 4. Okay, this one is applicable for both 3 and 9. Here the trick is the sum of the digits is divisible by 3 and 9, hence the entire number is divisible by 3 and 9 respectively. Let's have a look at the examples. A first one 12, 3, 6. Here the sum of the digits is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 that is equal to 12. 12 divisible by 3, yes, hence the entire number is divisible by 3. And in the similar way, 987, 9 plus 8 plus 7 is equal to 24. 24 is divisible by 3, hence the entire number is divisible by 3. And the final one is 325, 3 plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 10. Here, but 10 is not divisible by 3, hence the entire number is not divisible by 3. In the similar way, you can also check for the 9. 1, 2, 3, 6, I have considered the same example of the first one. And here the sum is equal to 12, but 12 is not divisible by 9. This time, this one is not divisible by 9. And in the second one, third one, I have considered a few other different numbers. And here the sum is equal to 18. In the second case also, sum is equal to 18. Since 18 is divisible by 9, hence the entire number is also divisible by 9. Uh, by this, we have covered 5 and we have done with 3 and we are done with 9. Let's have a look at this 6 and 12 now. If, if any number can be written as a multiple of co prime, two co prime numbers, like 6 can be written as 3 into 2. Here, 3 and 2 both are co prime numbers. Co prime means their x cube is equal to 1. They do not have any common factor other than uh, 1. Right? So, whenever this is possible, if if a particular number is divisible by 3 and 2, if it is divisible by both 3 and 2, hence the entire number is divisible by 6. For example, if you consider 728, since i is divisible by 2, hence the number is divisible by 2, and the sum of the numbers is equal to i plus 2 plus 7, that is equal to 17, but here this number is not divisible by 3. 2, yes, but for 3 it is not divisible. For this number, it is not divisible by 6. Not divisible by 6. Let's take uh, one more example, 672. Here, it is divisible by 2 because the last number is divisible by 2. And for the 3, here the sum of the numbers, 6 plus 7, that is equal to 13, 13 plus 2 is equal to 15. This 15 is divisible by 3, hence the entire number is divisible by 3. It is divisible by both 2 and 3, hence it is also divisible by 6 as well. In the similar way, we can also write this 12 as the product of 3 and 4. Some of you might think 12 can also be written as 2 into 6. But here 2 into 6 are not the co-prime numbers. 3 and 4 are the co-prime numbers. Definitely you need to write like this only. They need to be a co-prime numbers. And let's have a check. So 144 because this is a square of 12 and here this 144 is divisible by 4 because last two digits are divisible by 4 and is this divisible by 3? 1 plus 4 plus 4 that is 9. 9 is divisible by 3 hence it is also divisible by 3. Once it is divisible by both 4 and 3, this number is divisible by 12 as well. Okay, we are done with 6 and 12 as well. Let's discuss the 7 and 11. 11 is very important. 11-1 trick is this. The difference of sum of alternative numbers is divisible by 11. Hence, the entire number is divisible by 11. Let us understand this with a few of the examples I have written here. 
they are alternative numbers. One and three are the alternative numbers. So three and one are the alternative numbers. Add these alternative numbers. One plus three, and add these alternative numbers. One, three plus one. The difference between this uh, sum of alternative numbers is zero or anything that is divisible by eleven. Hence, the entire number is also divisible by eleven. This is equal to zero. Hence, this entire number is divisible by eleven. In the similar way, these are the alternative numbers, and these two are the alternative numbers. So, two plus seven minus zero plus nine. This is equal to zero. Hence, the entire number is divisible by eleven. In the similar way, nine. Eight and two are the alternative numbers. Three and five are the alternative numbers. So nine plus eight plus two minus three plus a five. So here this eight, this eight, both they cancel. Remaining is eleven. Eleven is divisible by eleven, hence the entire number is also divisible by eleven. You can check in this. A divisibility rule of seven is very tricky, but easier again. Here you need to take the unit digit out and multiply it with two. So three into two is equal to six, and subtract this six from the remaining number. The remaining number is thirty-four. So thirty-four minus six that is equal to twenty-eight. If this number is divisible by seven, hence the entire number is divisible by seven. Twenty-eight is divisible by seven, hence this entire number is divisible by seven. You can repeat this process until you get the Uh, two digit or three digit number that you are comfortable with to check for seven and have a look at the second one here also the process is same take the unit digit out multiply it with two so four okay so subtract this four from the remaining number the remaining number is five hundred and twenty nine five twenty nine minus four this is equal to five twenty five again I can apply the same rule for five twenty five. And take this unit digit out, multiply it with two, that is equal to ten. So subtract this ten from the remaining number. The remaining number is fifty-two. Fifty-two minus ten, that is equal to forty-two. I know this forty-two is a multiple of seven, or it is divisible by seven, hence the entire number is divisible by seven. We are done with seven as well. Everything is done except this a tenth one. Tenth one is bit easier and easier than everything. Last digit is zero, hence the entire number is divisible by ten. I hope you all guys enjoy this video. Let me know your suggestions in the comment sections for the next video. Definitely will try to cover those videos in the next two or three weeks. Peace.